All right, guys, we are here on a little flat. Luke's got a nice trout. We're actually with, trying to get some underwater with footage. With the camera. Of the Slam Shady in action. And uh, that was one of your first casts. Well, I got a nice one, too. Tell Dang, the deal. dude. Tell. It's a nice trout, bro. So this is going to be some really awesome footage. I don't know if you guys saw some of the underwater stuff that we posted. But it is so cool when you see a nice trout come up and strike. You check that out, dude. Two nice trout. This is a nice Two little trout. So what's funny, guys, you're tuning in, whether you're on the YouTube or listening on podcasts. We came out today with no real plan. That is a nice one, bro. Check out that trout, baby. Slam nice shady work. strikes again. And the last, the first couple places we tried because this coronavirus, there was someone in it. Meaning yeah, every it. spot that we looked at. It's like, what is going on? Everyone's out because no one can work. Yeah, it's a weekday and uh, it's like a weekend amount of boats. So, uh, so a lot of the spots I really wanted to fish were taken. And, and then we fished the flat for a little bit and just really nothing was happening. Didn't see any bait on it. And just a good, a good plan B, you know, just go out on a slow day to get, make sure you get some action and just go out and go out for trout. And just like that, you know, a couple podcasts before, a couple videos we've done, it's uh, you know, the easiest way to go get a bunch of trout is go on the outside of these grass flats. You can see there's this right on the edge of a really big flat and, uh, and just throw in a paddle tail. Is, uh, is my personal favorite. You can cover a lot of ground and they work. I, I'm casting one out with a camera right in front of it and, uh, and they're still coming up and popping that. So uh, really, really hard bait to, uh, to go wrong with because you can cover a lot of water and these trout, they really like it. Um, and so we went from a day that was super slow to then just totally doubling up in, uh, in the first three minutes we were here. Yeah, baby. Slam Shady strikes again. Yep. Man, so awesome. Always, always nice to have a, a backup plan because you just never know when, uh, when a day is going to be a slow bite up in the shallows for Reds and Snook. So trout is generally the, the save the day. Oh, there's another one. The save the oh. day species. Man, we're, uh, we're in a little honey hole. What is that? Uh, it feels like either a lady or a trout. Oh, that's a nice trout. Oh, he spent my lure. Oh, I just got one on. Slam oh. shady. I got that one on the camera. Dang, these are nice look, nice trout. Too. Yeah, these are solid. Dang. So we're going to get some good underwater footage with this. No doubt, man. He's a nice have another trout. trout. Mine's bigger. <laughs> Get a little camera trout. There you go, Cud. A second double up there. Uh, he inhaled that thing. Yeah. Get the guy in. Yeah, that's cool. So they're actually hanging off the flat. The, that one was was a decent ways off of the uh, off of the grass. Again, the cool thing about paddle tails is, is we can experiment, right? You can just cover so much ground and uh, the tails do a lot of the work. And so we basically just, oh, got another one. Dang. <laughs> That's three with the camera. That's hilarious. And we got to give our boy, John Skinner, some love here. I don't know if you guys have been through the Fluke Mastery course, by the way, amazing course. And it was John Skinner in that course that showed us not just this wolf camera uh -huh. oh you missed one probably it's, it's a wolf right is yeah this is a wolf, wolf camera yep but he also did basically like a little mini course inside the course it was a free bonus showing how to use it in terms of what kind of weights to put on it how to basically just get the the money shot and uh man that thing is so cool well, what, what, but what, what he does is he actually sinks it. So he has some planer. He, he basically drifts for, for a flounder and, uh, and he's sinking his way down. And so I got some good tips out of there, but this is totally different. We're actually casting it out. Um, so I, I had to rig it up. A I had to make some, uh, some alterations to, uh, to make sure that it casts well, at least cast good enough. And uh, yeah, it's definitely tough to, to do, but again, these trout. Is it well or good? I don't know. I think it's well. I mean, it wasn't a, I'm a math guy. I'm not a. I'm not an English. Yeah, I wrote a. I'm not a grammar. Wrote a couple books, and uh, people love to give me little English and grammar corrections. I'm sure. Like, come on, guys. I'm a storyteller. I'm a grammar major. Is that even a major? 
He's gonna be English major. Yes. <laughs> Cody's like, who are these two knuckleheads? So, um, so yeah, it was just really, just really simple game plan to go out there and just catch a bunch of fish. Is uh, is just have a, a backup plan, a backup side of a flat. Just need some sort of structure. It could be grass or oysters, or really anything else. And it'll generally have a pretty good amount of fish. Let's go drift that one little area again. Dang. That was honey hole. Speaking of John Skinner, did you guys hear and or see that he's in Florida now? Oh. Yep, John Skinner now officially, I believe, full time, right, in Florida? I don't know if it was a seasonal or if he's if it's full. He's full had that move. place like in Pine Island for a long time. Oh, there we go. Quick release, ladyfish. And I believe like he's he's getting down there full time, which is awesome. So we'd love to hear your feedback. He sent me an email. Was it this week? Yeah. Or the weekend? And he's like, Joe Luke, I'm in Florida. Got to meet up after this coronavirus and film a course on striper, striped bass. So I'm pumped about that, even though we don't have striped bass here. It's been on our bucket list to go do some striper fishing. And so the only way we're gonna do it with you, John, is if we get to come help you film and catch a ton of stripers with you. So be, uh, be looking forward to that, you Insider VIP members who get all of our courses. And if you're not, you get a chance to get Skinner's lifelong, whoa, get some nice strikes out here. Intel on catching stripers. So I'm pumped about that one. And uh, we got some new stuff with Deeks coming up on the live bait side. Ooh. And really big news on a lot of these insider discounts. I was just checking uh, email before we got out here. Man, if you're an insider, you're gonna be lucky. All right, Luke, so what's the, what's the tide and everything doing? It's coming in right now, uh, but it's a pretty weak one. And uh, so it's kind of, that's a giant stingway right there. It's like a five foot wingspan. Oh, wow. Can you see that, Cody? You see that guy? It had, it had something riding it, but it was a different, I was looking for a Kobe on it, uh, but it was a smaller stingray, basically kind of riding behind it there. But Can you uh, see that, Cody? Man, you guys are listening to the podcast. You got to come check out this one. That's yeah, at the was, beginning. That was Dude, a, goodness that was a, gracious. That was a beast. That was uh, awesome to see uh, one of your first casts there get inhaled. All right, so uh, keep talking. Weak, you said weak tide, that's all I heard. Yeah, we have weak tide, and this is just, you know, really one of the tough days. It's a small, uh, kind of light wind. Nice. Light wind and clear skies is, and clear water is, is at least my least favorite time to go out fish. It's an enjoyable time to get out, but as far as catching fish, this is the most difficult. You know, the fish have more of an advantage. They can see you better. They can feel you better. Baby um, tarpon, come on, jump off. And so again, that's just more reason to go do some fishing like this, which is, it's a whole lot easier, right? You can catch a lot more fish. This um, is like prime time tarpon bait. And tarpon are gonna be right out here soon, guys. We saw some last week. Yeah, another reason why we're here is to actually look for tarpon too. Just in case they're coming around. Yeah, that's like a perfect size ladyfish for them. All right, let me get back out there. But, uh, but yeah, it's just, you know, doing the outside flats, you just never know what you're gonna catch, right? You can catch a bunch of trout, a bunch of ladyfish, uh, mackerel come around. Blue, and, uh, blue fish. Yeah, blue fish, jacks. We've got a needlefish chasing me up. That's probably gonna be on the camera. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you just never know. And obviously tarpon, cobia too, okay. right? Seasonal. All but, right here um, on the flat, huh? Yeah, but it's just, again, it's just something that's just easy to do. You can, you can access from any boat. As you, if you haven't seen the last one we did, we were in a, a bay boat without a trolling motor and we caught an absolute ton of fish because we just had the, the game plan, right? We had the game plan to go fish the outer edges and uh, we just positioned ourselves properly and got a bunch of fish. And yeah, this is something the whole family could do. Yep. You don't have to go out there, ooh, that was a nice hit there. You get to stock up on a bunch of live bait. You don't have to really even be quiet. I'm sitting here like knocking over pliers and stuff. Will, by the way, if you're listening, got my pliers, dude. <laughs> Try to give me your cheapos. Don't think I didn't notice. Will, if you're watching, I want my pliers back. <laughs> Jeez. I had those really, thank goodness they weren't the, the what are they called, the Danko Premios. Yeah. But they were still nice. They're like $70 pliers. I've had forever. 
keep an eye on stuff like that, Joe. Well, I did. And and I think Will, like last second, was like, oh, hey, let me put my little $5 ones in. <laughs> Things are rusting up already. But that was fun. Will Will was with Freedom Boat Club. And we had, uh, and I'm actually a Freedom Boat Club member, and we talked about really kind of for both of our sake to go out there and do some footage oh. on the... I have right at Dude, the Dude, that was awesome. It came up and nailed it. A little, uh, a little trout, but it was, it was tapping it and, uh, and finally slowed it down and it came and popped it. All right, so I just lost my tail. You can see that code. So I'm gonna now fish this more like a jerk shad. Man, it casts so much further. I'm almost getting my back in there. You see the look? <laughs> yeah, you need to get some more line on that thing. Dang, that just launched. So now I'm fishing it more like a jerk shad. Oh, and already still getting hits. The tailless slam shady. Yeah, these fish are out here. Yeah, they're just gotta let it hit, hit the bottom, do a little quick pop. Pop, 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 pop. Dang. So yeah, we'll just give this a little bit of time. We're just, just kind of um, seeing as they're tarping around, seeing, uh, oh, that's a bigger trout. No. Oh, just no, aggressive normal one. Normal size one. Oh, look at they're coming right up to the, dang, they're falling up slammy. And then if we don't get anything, anything better, you know, we'll go off and do another thing. But again, just always nice to have something in the playbook that just can get some, some guaranteed action, at least as close to guaranteed as possible. Uh, that way you just never, never come home skunked. Should be the, the rules. Always so, you know, we had a couple members recently, Luke, that we're, we're basically asking that question, right? Is, hey, I'm taking the kids out. I want, I want to just get them on some fish. Why did you pick this area of this grass? I mean, it's just one big, long flat. Did we see any birds, bait, or your just gut felt? Yeah, it was just gut. I mean, it, pretty much all the way up and down, we'll, there'll be pockets of fish. Just fi find the edge, find a, a depth change with structure, and follow it, and you'll eventually find some fish. Might not be the best, you know, probably won't be a, a huge trophy, but it'll be something. And there, uh, we, go. Oh, there we are. Ooh, this is Double a... it up, baby. Oh, yeah, no, those, oh, first, those first couple of trout were really nice. Yeah, that one right there was a big one. This one's coming uh, right to me. Either way, we got the strike on film, whatever it was. Let's pray that uh, Slam Shady, no tail. Let's pray that this underwater camera is both on and uh, you triple check that. As uh, much as I could. Still kind of new to it. <laughs> and that we can get the footage out. Last time we had a little bit of trouble. Love your guys' feedback on these underwater cameras. It ain't easy, man. You know you got to be in a good place when you're getting strikes on that. And that thing, it sounds like throwing a bowling ball in. And what what is oh. it? Oh, dude, nice! Nice! That's, that's a good fish. Oh, oh. man. Dude, that, that's a cobia. Oh, I see it. Oh my God, that was either a Kobe or a shark. Oh, I think it might be a shark. Either way, that's on film. That'll be awesome. Dude, that is awesome. Oh, he's still right there. It's a shark. Yeah. You still see him? It, no, I don't oh, see him. Oh, there that. he is, there he is. Yeah, it's a 100% well, shark. Terrible cast, Joe. I was about to go for it and he, <laughs> he turned. Okay, there it is. That's funny. I can't wait to see this footage. Let's see if he hits it. Hopefully he's all fired up. I don't that want that thing be... to strike the camera and break this off. Oh, that's a good point. It's, uh, <laughs> how much does that thing cost? Uh, I can't remember. Got it a while back. A couple hundred bucks, though? Yeah, at the time. I, I don't know. It's, we've literally yeah, let's actually not catch any more sharks. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So anyhow, that should be on camera. A, a decent-sized trout coming up and slamming the bait. Oh, yeah. Slam that's shady. That's awesome. Look at that, Cody. I'm just dragging him. He knows what's up. Hit the slam shady you're going to get reckoned with, son. Hey. Boop. Look at that little guy. Yeah, you can do this, whoa, anywhere. Not just here in Tampa and St. Pete. You can do this Panama City Beach, Jacksonville Beach, Savannah, Georgia, Charleston, South Kakalaki. Every area that has, oh, that's a nice one there, baby. That has snook, or not really snook, redfish, speckled trout, they're all gonna have little flats like this that can be super productive. 
especially this time of year. Dude, that's a nice one there. Come on that's now. Better fish there. Yes. Uh, we should maybe start selling these without a tail on them. I, I kind of like the whole jerk shed motion. Yeah, for, for the deeper water, it's, it Whoa, is actually really good. Whoa, come on, buddy. There we are. Luke's on. On film. Oh, this, lost another one. You good, good. Look at that, guys. Slam shitty strikes again. We are getting a lot of underwater action, which is cool. This is uh, yeah. It's gonna be uh, gonna be fun to see all this. Gotta make sure a shark doesn't take the take the rig now. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, and speaking of uh, slam oh, shitty, too, a lot of you've been asking. We've uh. We have been talking with Z-Man just on, you know, we're still doing stuff with Z-Man. We still have, at least have this recording, we still have some of the five inch Slam Shady with Z-Man. And even though these are getting just as many, if not more strikes, the material is not Z-Man. I mean, Z-Man has the patent on that. No one's gonna have, man, look at that. They're just tearing us up. The same kind of durability. Um, so we're talking with them about trying to speed that process up. They've just, man, they've been growing like crazy, um, both saltwater and freshwater, but mostly freshwater. I don't know if you guys saw the, the classic, but Z-Man, I, I think, I think like it was some crazy number, like seven of the top 10 finishers were basically using Z-Man baits. That's a lot. And so it's like... <laughs> They're having trouble even keeping up with demand, and then this whole coronavirus thing kind of shut them down for a little bit. It's uh, it's just been kind of chaotic. So just so you know, if you're listening and you're a loyal listener and you've been asking, we'll just kind of share a little private insider intel with you that we are working with them. There will be Z-Man Slam Shady Lures at some point in the future. The big question is just when. Dude, they are just hitting in the second this even drops. Yeah, but in the meantime, the productive flat. Yeah, in the meantime, these other baits are uh, are still working great. Here we go again. Uh, this is seen. quite a few in a row here, Cody. I'm, I'm not going to try to predict a number because this is all live, but I feel like every single cast, I am hooking into something, and many times bringing something in. This coronavirus gets any worse, we know where to come. Although, of course, we can't keep trout. Bluefish? What's the size on bluefish? I have no idea. I feel idea. like we've caught some nice blues and Spanish That's, mackerels. A shark would have been fair game. Those are good to eat. Oh, that heck was, yeah. That was a black tip. Inhale some shark. I went to, um, I went to Lowe's. I have, you know, three propane tanks for my grill. And I went to go get two of them filled up because they'd just been sitting in my garage like, man, just in case things get really funky. I had the last two tanks. The heck is going on out there? The whole toilet paper craze? You see what I put on Facebook today? No. Uh, two new rules in my household. No coughing and no dingleberries. <laughs> <laughs> Cody thinks that's funny. If you guys don't know what a dingleberry is, you look it up. Just Google it. Just put a... Uh, alternative meaning of dingleberry. What is that? Oh, a slang meaning of dingleberry. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you know what's up. Bad time to have dingleberries in a toilet paper crunch. Jeez. Jeepers creepers. So what else, Luke? What else? What, uh, we're going to go back to and do some line testing, huh? Yeah. Kind of pumped about that. Yeah, I set, the... up, I set up the, uh, we have line tester. We're testing the you know, uh, abrasion of lines. Uh, Plus, I have a little setup for doing casting casting distance. A lot of questions coming in, and uh, so we're gonna do some some blind tests later on, and then we'll make sure to to do that probably on a weekly, at least bi-weekly basis. With the ultimate goal is just to to really just help determine what the true best line is, uh, regardless, you know, not to take into account any sort of uh, you know hearsay in the market. One cool thing that came up. Uh, last year God, when man. I was doing a lot of testing is is you know just with fluorocarbon versus traditional monofilament line um, like for, for a long time I was buying the really expensive fluorocarbon and a big reason why I was buying it is because I thought that it was more abrasion resistant than uh, than traditional monofilament and uh, and I did this test 
that uh, this little assembly that I built, it was with uh, sandpaper, rubbing lines up against sandpaper with the exact same tension to, uh, to analyze you know, how abrasion resistant it is, right? So it was basically mimicking a snook's mouth, right, which is one of my favorite fish to catch, or like a tarpon or even a bass. You know, it was just, you know, how does the line interacting with that fish's mouth, rubbing back and forth, how does it weaken the line? You know, what's, what's stronger? And I, when doing the test, my, uh, you know, I was assuming, like I was like, I was not even assuming, I was like, I, was, I knew that the fluorocarbon was gonna be better in my mind because that's what all the marketing was about. You know, it was just everybody seemed to say that that fluorocarbon was stronger and, and uh, better for, uh, you're, you're messing around with little ladyfish there. But as everybody was saying that, you know, it's just stronger, it's more, it's, it's, it's invisible, all that stuff. And when they're doing the test, I was totally blown away not only did the mono beat it, but it beat it handily, and it beat it repeatedly like on, a, on, a, on a, basically every time I've, I've tested it. So not only testing, obviously I tested out the, you know, a 20 pound line versus another 20 pound line, but then I got the, uh, the line diameter into play as well, where I equated the line diameters, because generally fluorocarbon lines are a little bit thinner than, than traditional mono. So I would do like a 25 pound fluorocarbon versus a 20 pound just regular mono line, and the regular mono line still won. Like a 20 pound mono beat a 25 pound fluorocarbon. So anyhow, it was just really interesting to see how different the reality is uh, sometimes versus the hype. And so that's really the, the, key, the key goal of, of those tests, is to see like what the, just what the truth is. So Lady coming your Fish way. Central. Oh, I finally, get, grab him, Luke, can you get it? No, oh. Slam Shady finally got annihilated. Go, go try to get on that back, back side of the boat. Let's see if I get up. Oh, I don't see it. He might, he might be coming on underneath the backside though. Should yeah, so we'll do, and, and so that's, that's the abrasion. Good job, Cody got it. Cody, a camera guy? Come on now. Dude, that's awesome. All right, Cody. It's not worth falling in over, dude. I'll get the net and grab it. Yeah, we'll turn around and get it. Whew. Yeah, so what happened is that ladyfish uh, finally, finally finished off that Slam Shady. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that puppy up real quick. All Try right. to always leave the environment better than we found it. That's right, I get it. Oh, it might still be usable, I don't know. Look at that, got it. Dude, that thing is a little nub and it is completely destroyed now. Dang, Luke is going loco on the trolling motor. Jeez, got a little TM there on the happy towel, happy towel. <laughs> Come on now. All right, let's go back to the baits. See what we got. Yeah, and, uh, I'm, I'm pumped to see a little bit more of this whole line test stuff. You know, it, it's funny, even on social media, we, we made some of those posts about the results and dude people like were in arms and yeah. even though no one had tested it they're just oh i know it's got to be better and i mean fluoro has got to be better than mono and and even what's interesting it, i have not seen yet and if i'm wrong and if you're a manufacturer this stuff let us know but i've not really even seen tests from like the main companies right like the cigars and stuff of the world have you luke no, no, not anything, uh, again, not in detail at least. It's probably something out there. But then again, I'm, I'm a big fan of marketing, so kudos to them. <laughs> They've done that good of a job of fooling us fishermen, just like fooling a big trout to my lure. Is that you out there? Something going I'm local on bait. Oh, that's just so weird having to use a paddle tail again. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see this footage. There we go, baby. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sounds like a ladyfish. Yeah, they're in there thick. I'm getting, I'm it's getting still hit. so much fun. You take your kids out here and do this? Come on now, that's just tarpon bait for you. This guy doesn't. And when the tarpon do start showing up, we know where to go to get bait. Mm-hmm. These ladyfish are great. Uh, what do you do? You, you uh, troll them? Is that what we did last time with them, right? I usually Kinda troll like them, yeah. slow troll them? Yeah, a lot of people do cut bait still, and there's a lot of options. 
Yeah, it's always fun. Did you get a strike on that that one too? Yeah. Oh, that's that's something. Be sick. That's something followed up as well. Yeah, it's gonna yeah we're gonna awesome. we're gonna get some excellent underwater footage with this thing. Oh yes. Man, there are um, a lot of fish on this flat, guys. I cannot wait for springtime. Oh, even that kind of feels like springtime right now, doesn't it? Yeah, weather-wise, this has finally Dang. got a warm streak. They are just in there. And we'll also get uh, access to the condo. Oh, I lost my tail. Oh, yeah, I lost my tail. To the condo down in uh, Boca Grande area. Coming up here real soon, so you guys will see a lot more footage of that area as, uh, as well. And of course our boy, Tony, super active on the East Coast. And now we have Wyatt, who's you know full time with us and he's doing really awesome inside of reports up in the Carolinas. And uh, he, he's doing a phenomenal job. Absolutely. Yeah, he's, he's getting quite some really the, good reds and trout there. Quite the student. Quite the student. Well, dude, what do you think? We want to wrap it up? Yeah. Let's oh, wrap it I just over. had one come up and nail me right there. Right. Yeah, let's uh, let's wrap it up and go out and maybe kind of catch a couple more and maybe hit a couple of little docks on the way home, and then I want to we'll check do out this the line. Whoa, line taste, uh, line tasting, line testing. So, guys, thank you so much for all the love, all the support. If you like these unedited, just say hey, what's really happening out on the water. The good, the bad, the ugly, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. We always put every podcast, and you might even be watching it here on the blog on saltstrong.com in the fishing tips area. So leave us a comment. That's the best place where each of those comments go to both Luke and I, where we read everyone. Sometimes a little bit harder with YouTube because so many people are commenting on YouTube and there's just so much spam and jam and mamma cramma. Um, but definitely on our blog is the best place to go and give us give us some feedback on you know other types oh we'll tighten the drag down a little bit other types of species areas anything you want to do i know we've got a couple trips you know some of this got postponed because of this coronavirus stuff but we're gonna be doing some uh, trips here definitely in this uh this summer and uh let us know where you want us to go who you want us to go see what kind of species to target, certain types of lures, types of spots. Yeah, and, and let just, us know. And just like always, well, for Insider members, I just had, I just missed a good strike there. For Insider members, we're gonna, you know, obviously when this post goes live, uh, we'll get the uh, a, a separate Insider report for you uh, where we'll get on the lowest level Google Maps just to show exactly where we are so that you can look for the same type of spots near you. There's, there's a, the, oh man, that, was, that came right at the surface. But that's that a nice cool. one too. So, Doubling um, up at the end. We always double up at the end. Yes, because the great news is that you know this. There, there's a bunch of spots similar to this, and no matter where you are, you can find spots like this where you can go out, even on right. slow days, and go and catch a, a good amount of fish, even when you have a stinking camera. All right, hurry and pull yours in. This even will be the, the, uh, the thumbnail shot of us with our uh, our two fish. All right, put it out there, Cody. You gotta. That's gonna be funny. Oh. oh. Oh boy, yeah, that's it guys. Yeah, let's get this guy going. We be out. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Make sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, give us a review, especially if you're listening on iTunes. It helps out tremendously. We keep this entire podcast completely ad-free for your listening pleasure. And all we ask in return is to share it, subscribe, and leave us a review. That ain't too much to ask, is it? No. Nope. If it is, then doggone, we got to go find a new country to fish. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. We be out. Peace. See you on the next episode. Oh, I'm on, baby. Hey there, it's Joe Simons, one of the co-founders here at Salt Strong. And have you claimed your free pack of these irresistible Slam Shady Paddle Tail Lures? We designed this lure with over 12,000 serious inshore anglers, including many full-time guides, to go out there and catch more redfish, more speckled trout, more snook, more flounder, more inshore saltwater slams. And if you want a free pack to try out a sample yourself, click down below right now. We have one free pack per angler while supplies last. Click down below right now.